She was known as Baby Faith, and for 23 years, no one who knew, rather, who she was or who killed her. Well, finally, investigators think they have the answers. Larimer County deputies say Jennifer Katalinich killed the newborn. The baby was found dead in Horsetooth Reservoir in 1996. CBS Force Karen Morfitt following uh, new developments in the case tonight. Karen, how were investigators able to make the arrest? Well, Jim, what we know is a new look at DNA really led them to potential family members of Baby Faith. And while we don't know which databases that DNA was put into, we do know law enforcement has been using a number of public sources to help close these cold cases. For more than two decades, investigators have worked to find justice for Baby Faith, an unidentified baby girl whose body was found in Horsetooth Reservoir in 1996. I still see her. And I still remember. While that work continues, investigators say the arrest of Jennifer Katalinich brings them a step closer, a step they credit to new DNA analysis. After researching law enforcement and public databases, four out of the original five were determined to be most probable to have information to advance the case. We asked DNA expert Mitch Morrissey to weigh in. His company, United Data Connect, specializes in genetic genealogy. The average person has about 800 people that they're related to. Once you get those matches, then the genealogist does their work and tries to get back to the person that is most likely the suspect. Investigators were eventually led back to Erie, Colorado, where Catalinich has been living with her family for years, likely having seen those goodbyes and desperate pleas for information from the investigators closest to the case. It's just, it's always there. It will always be there. Now, investigators would not confirm Catalinch's, uh, Catalinch's relationship to baby Faith. They say it would be harmful to the investigation. Now, we did ask her for comment when she bonded out, posting her $25,000 bond. She told us that any statement would come from her lawyer, who has not responded. But neighbors say that she, was a good, she is a good person and a good mother, and they find it hard to believe that she would be capable of something like this. For now, we're live. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.